hello game makers this is game maker rob and i thought now would be a good time to announce the next tutorial series that i'll be doing um i've been lucky enough to be sponsored by daddy fat flab to make this series and he wants me to make uh, an xcom map editor and an xcom battle system um the xcom that fraxis makes uh, i'm going to be using the old xcom sprites though um just because it's easier with isometric so it's a bit of a clash of the two or a mix of the two um i've been coding it over the last month or so and it's at the point where i'm almost ready to do the battle system so i've been messing around with around with that lately uh, the map editor has some really cool features that deal with some issues that I had with my previous isometric editors. Uh, one of my favourite features is the ability to hold Z or X and stop the grid cursor from moving on either the X or Y axis. This is so useful when placing walls or anything that you just want on a particular row or column. As well as this announcement. Uh, I thought I would show you a feature in the battles that I haven't need, needed to code before. So it was like an entirely new problem. Um, and this is line of sight. So basically, uh, when should an enemy unit be detected by the player units? Um, I was trying to think of a good way to, to make that work. Um, initially, I was going to have... Uh, I was going to use the collision line list function which would give me a load of different uh, node objects and I would go through checking them one by one to see if there, there was a wall um, on that particular cell but then I remembered that I'm really only coding everything in 2D and I'm just drawing it in isometric and decided to make a wall object on every tile that has a north or west wall so all I do is um, go through the whole map is there a west wall yes make a, a west wall object is there a north wall yes make a north wall object and that's that's it and all i have to do, do now is draw a line using collision line from the player unit um, to all of the different enemies and as soon as it hits a wall then i know there's a collision and that unit cannot be seen um, it works a lot better so i hope you enjoyed the video uh, i will show you bits and pieces of this series uh before the official videos as i go and um, if i think that there's something cool that i want to show you but um apart from that thank you for your time bye for now